hello everyone. It's good to have you back with me for another Friday Closeout. It's been a minute since I've done one of these because I took a little bit of a break while I was on leave. And wouldn't you know it, the world did not stop. So not only are we now having these conversations and these questions about the coronavirus, we are having this continuing, ongoing conversation in our culture about what our black brothers and sisters have been facing for many, many generations, uh, inspired by the horrific, tragic death of George Floyd. And that's just the most recent um, of things that have transpired that have brought these conversations to the fore. And, man, it's hard to know how to speak into these things because speaking into them is fraught. There's a, there's a lot of things that I could say that that could be interpreted wrongly, but yet I feel like as a chaplain and as a pastor and as a member of the clergy, that to sit in silence while these conversations are happening around me, and I'm sure you're having those conversations as well, in your own home, amongst your friends and your family and online, I'm sure you're engaging in some of these conversations too. And so I wanted to hopefully just speak a little bit into it from the perspective of a chaplain and a person of faith. Now these Friday closeout videos are devotional. They're where I take a a few verses from scripture uh, and speak about those and uh, hopefully provide uh, some spiritual food for you during this time. And so the passage that I wanted to look at today is from Philippians, and it's in the second chapter, and it starts in verse 5. It says, Adopt the same attitude as that of Christ Jesus, who, existing in the form of God, did not consider equality with God as something to be exploited. Instead, he emptied himself by assuming the form of a servant, taking on the likeness of humanity, And when he had come as a man, he humbled himself by becoming obedient to the point of death, even to death on a cross. For this reason, God highly exalted him and gave him the name that is above every name, so that at the name of Jesus every knee will bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Now this... I'll be real with you, Uh, from a Christian perspective, this is one of the strongest theological statements that we have in Scripture. But here's why I think it speaks particularly to the situation that we are in now. Because it's easy to look at faith and at Christianity and at Christ and maybe wonder, what does this have to say now? How does this, how do my beliefs, how do they speak into the turmoil and the situation that we are facing right now? Jesus, how do you know and understand what I'm going through and what I'm experiencing and, and all these difficulties and all these challenges? How do you know you're God? Well, this passage helps us understand a little bit about why we can rest in faith that Christ knows and understands what we experience. It says, He emptied himself by assuming the form of a servant, taking on the likeness of humanity. God is not distant. Jesus is not far from us during these times. In fact, he identifies with us. And one of the the, the most countercultural things about Jesus is that when he came, he did not come primarily to the elites of his day. He did not integrate in with the Roman authorities. He did not integrate in with the scribes and the Pharisees, the religious leaders, the theologians of his day. He went to the fishermen. He went to the tax collectors. He went to uh, sinners. He ate with sinners. He uh, ate with prostitutes. This was Jesus. 
He went to the people who a respectable person, quote unquote, would never go to. He identified with the lowly, with the downtrodden, with the oppressed, rather than integrating in with those who had the power and the influence in his society. And so what does that tell me today? as a Christian and as a follower of Jesus, who one of my mantras is, I want to be more like Jesus as I grow in life and as I grow in my faith. What does that tell me? It says that I need to open my eyes and I need to look around at my world and I need to see who are my brothers and sisters who are face, who are some of those same things in our society today. And so when I read this scripture, I realize just how relevant and powerful the Word of God is even today two millennia after the New Testament was written down that it's still just as countercultural today as it was then because what is our tendency as human beings we want to we want to go and we want to identify with the rich and the famous and the powerful and we want those things for ourselves we want to be influencers we want to be popular on social media and yet Jesus went to the people who were lowly and downtrodden, and he was humble. So friends, that's my challenge for you today. As you look out in the turmoil, and you look out in all the different conversations and things that are happening in our culture today, and people speaking to each other, and about each other, and around each other, and arguing and yelling, and we're wondering what is going to happen from all of this. If you are a Christian and a follower of Jesus, the answer is be humble like Jesus was humble. Identify with those who are hurting and lowly and downtrodden and love them. Love your neighbor like you love yourself. I think that feeds into what I talked about on Wednesday where we just need to listen. There's a lot going on in the world, and I don't have the answers. And so one of the places where I turn when I am struggling, when I am wrestling, is to Scripture. And I want to encourage you today, if you have not read Philippians in a while, it's a short little letter, just a few chapters. Maybe pick it up and read it over the weekend, especially the second chapter, those verses that we just read today. Chapter 2, verses 5 through 11. And I hope that as I am continuously challenged in my life and in my faith to try to be more like Jesus. And man, I fall short. I fall so short. But I'm trying. And I hope you will join me in trying. Thanks for watching. 